Hello guys, Nato Ace here. I'll be playing this game. Cause I'm gonna play this game, the most anticipating game of 2018. Rockstar Game Percent, Red Dead Redemption 2. PlayStation exclusive. Play select online content first on PlayStation 4. Sadly, content exclusive for 30 days. PlayStation Plus required, whatever. So of course, it's the prequel to Red Dead Redemption. If you played the game on the PS3 and 360, you know it's a great game. It's basically a Grand Theft Auto in the Wild Wild West. And this is a prequel, believe it or not. So that's going to be interesting what improvement they did this. And yes, there has been a lot of controversy with this game. I mean, but of course, the big one, crunch time. Apparently there was crunch time issue with this game. I'm not getting into that, so you might say, oh, I can't believe you, you bought this game. Well. It's them if you do or them you don't, you don't buy it, all that work was for not. You buy it, then it tells them that crunch time is okay. It has to be the BBB and the company, it's up to them to make things right. Now we're on the consumer, I know it's kind of difficult, but in my opinion is, it's a good game. I support it and I support the game, not the crunch time, but you know, it is what it is. So let's see in the back. America, 1899, the end of the Wild West era has begun. All right, Outlaw for Life, so you can read that, you know, if you want to pause it. All right, so you don't play, you don't play as the character from Red Dead Redemption, but he is in the game, a younger version. And of course, coming soon, feature Red Dead Online coming soon, which is Grand Theft Auto Online. You, you're gonna need plus, so it's not free, sadly. So player, one player, of course, the online part. Dual Shock, two discs, and I'll show you why. PS4 Pro in hand, so uh, uh, soon I'm gonna be planning to get one, or already did, who knows. And here's the big one 105 gig minimum because there is a data disc and there's a gameplay disc. No joke. So this game is big, it's, from what I heard, it's just the main game, the main mission. It's 80 hours minimum, from what I heard. Again, I could be wrong. Versus this game. 3 gig about anime girls or the Wild Wild West. Pansu anime girls or the Wild Wild West. Well, anyway, let's check out what this game is all about. Or it would have been my first impression of Red Dead Redemption 2. Unfortunately, I just realized something that when I started playing this game, I almost forgot about. Rockstar's policy rule for Red Dead Redemption, well not just Red Dead Redemption, but Rockstar games in general. I remember Grand Theft Auto 5, they basically said you can record gameplay, but not story mode. But to some extent also, even the gameplay itself kind of like gives a spoiler, because remember, Rockstar game, believe it or not, whether it's Grand Theft Auto or Red Dead Redemption, they're very story driven, even just roaming around hunting for animals or whatever. So, unfortunately for this one, I won't be able to do my first impression style. Rather, just I'm just gonna give my V block style of my first impression of Red Dead Redemption 2. So, with that, here we go. So, what do I think about the game? Yeah, it's a Rockstar game. The minute I start playing it, I start remembering back playing the first Red Dead Redemption. At all Grand Theft Auto, so it has that element, but in in the, of course, in the world of cowboys. And before I continue, a little disclaimer about this game for people who don't know. But if you're a Rockstar fan, if you're a gamer, if you know about this game, then yeah, then you'll know about what Red Dead Redemption 2 is. For people who don't know what it is, Rockstar games are M-rated for a reason. They are meant for adult gamers, let's per se. Can teen play this game? Well, yes and no. If you're smart enough and you're, you know, you got logic, then yeah, you're probably gonna, it's probably okay for you to play it. I'm not saying yes or no, but the reason why there's an M-rated, it's meant for adults. Okay, let's just put it there. And this game, you do play as an anti-hero or a bad guy, let's just say that. That's always usually what Grand Theft Auto or Red Dead Redemption game. If you want to play as a hero, 
then go play L.A. Noir because you do play as a detective. But also, that game's more, not just story driven, but it's more puzzle than action than the other two. Alright, so moving on from that one, what, what are my thoughts on Red Dead Redemption 2? Well, it's awesome. The story, of course, you gotta understand. Spoiler a bit for people, but this has been already been announced on their channel on YouTube. And that is, it is a prequel to the first game. And it takes place prior of the fall of, well, Dutch's gang. Everybody knows that because that's the story for Red Dead Redemption. He plays a character by the name of Arthur Morgan and you're sort of the lieutenant of Dutch's gang. If you're wondering what happened to him in Red Dead Redemption, how come we never heard of this game till now? Well, that's what's called Red Dead Redemption 2. They're adding new stuff, but they're doing it in a prequel style or set. But if, if you watch the prequel trilogy of Star Wars, then you'll know a lot of this character's thing. Maybe not, you know, hypothesis there. So, with that said, I think it's a good game. It, it refines as from the original one. You have route horse riding. This time around, you have a camp. I mean, I'll be a bit spoiler there, but you do start, like, tutorials start out somewhere in the snow. And then later on, you go to the wilderness. But then from there, there's going to be like a camp. And you can upgrade the camp. That's kind of like a common thing. You know, you have your base. If you play Sui Koden, Breath of Fire 2, Nino Kuni 2, spoiler a bit there, you do build your own kingdom. That's where the, hence the subtitle. The same goes with this game. You need money. You know, it's the same premise there. What about the gameplay? Much better than the first one. The hub, the mechanics, much easier. There is still a, there is still a cover system, but it is like any Grand Theft Auto game. Red Dead Redemption One, same deal. You got Red Dead, so that's basically what's known for that game, which basically everything slows down, and then you mark the people, and then the minute you unleash it, bang, 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 bang. Again, like a true cowboy. And there you go. And best part is, you can do more about it. Now you can, well, you can now hunt animals, bring them to the camp. In the first game, you can only skin the animal. You don't bring in because you just skin it, and then you either sell it or, I forgot, that was a long time ago, it's rock time. Rocks are gay, thanks to be long. So you basically, you can skin the animal, use for materials, I know, kind of like, oh my gosh, that's anti-animal. It's a video game, like I said. Two, you can actually bring their meat you can bring their meat and then either get, sell it to a butcher or a meat meat guy let's just say that or one of the characters in your gang and it improves the camp it, improves the, it can improve your stats you know again usual video game just for adults and then of course it's not well it's not a rockstar game without well being a bad guy you're, remember, you're an outlaw. You're not a lawman. So you can do, well, you go to a store, you can be a good guy or a bad guy. And that's a new thing, so I'll explain it later. But of course, like I said, you're an outlaw. You can rob a store because, can't, you know, you're a bad guy. You can hijack someone's horse and sell it. You know, a shop shop in the Wild West, let's just say that. Or even carriages. There's a point in the, in the game. Again, a little bit of spoiler, you know carriage and you sell it and that's how you make some money there are other side major but I'm not gonna really reveal them here but that's just some of them because again the reason I just mentioned those it's kind of common for those games we had the photo did the same thing the only new thing about this game that never been never been introduced in a rockstar game is a morale system yeah for the first time in history there is a morale system Grand Theft Auto 4 sort of had like a good choice or bad choice, but didn't really affect the storyline much. I know there's also another part in the end in Grand Theft Auto 4, spoiler, but it's an old game that you either what you choose which mission you want to do, then the ending is different. But again, of course, it's a Rockstar game, but in this one, there is a morale system, and you can either be really bad or really good, and they are beneficial to it, surprisingly. But I won't get into it. So, what else I can talk about? Now there's fishing. Yes, for the first time you can fish. 
you can hunt. And the best part for Arthur Morgan, I guess a lot of people have had a complaint with the first Red Dead Redemption, is he can swim. Why did I say that? In the first game, one of the mechanics is your character in the first game does not know how to swim. That's the joke. That's just what they just didn't want to put in the mechanic. And he's a bit of, a bit smarter, but it's, uh, it's like a LOL situation. Is One of the characters from the first game is in the game. He's just a bit younger. And the best part about this game is there's a lot of voice. Like, I gotta give props to Rockstar. A lot of voice in this game. Whatever you do, they say something. So that is how you do a voice. To something like voice acting, that is awesome for what Rockstar did. I know there's a lot of controversy in the past about the game. Believe it or not, I know the history, the crush time, whether it's true or not, no one knows. But for the game itself, it was really good. And like I said, you do something, they'll say something and I'll give you a little bit of a hint here. This is this is this is funny. So one of the mission here, I'm gonna be vague as best I can. You team up with one of this one of the character in your gang. And this per this character is gonna teach you how to basically use a sniper rifle because which weapons are weapons. That's a common thing in a Rockstar game. And this character will tell you, try to scare off the particular NPC. Again, I'm trying to be vague here because I don't want to spoil everything because it's a good game. And what happened was, I was trying to scare this one NPC using the sniper rifle. And because the sniper the control is a little bit sensitive, but it's not a bad thing. I accidentally shot the person. I know, bad me, shame on me. But the thing is, the character will say something and I'm like, oh... And the character basically will say, well, I'll try to scare off the person. And then I accidentally, because it was just too close, I was trying to be close but not shoot the person, but oopsie. And the NPC says, or you can just shoot the person. And I'm like, wow. A lot of voice. Like, whatever you do, there is voice. That's really awesome there. So, overall, is it better than the first game? Definitely be be good. It's very awesome. Much a lot of improvement that they wanted. The mechanics, I think, that's better. The weapon system or the weapon wheel, much better in use. And there's more things you can do in the game than the first game. And I know I heard they said that the game takes at least 100 hours just to finish the main story. I don't know. I barely, I'm like in, as of right now, but I'm like in chapter 2 right now. But, like, my impression there, it's really long. The game is definitely long. There's a lot of things you do. Just like... Yakuza games, this game will distract you. There's a lot of things that's happening, whether you do a good thing or bad thing, but again, it's like a Grand Theft Auto. There you go. So what score would I give this first impression of Red Dead Redemption 2? Definitely, as of right now, a 10 out of 10. I have seen there was no flaw in icing in the game, and if there was a flaw, chances are probably I'm just sucking. There was no bugs that I encountered in the game. The difficulty in the game is not really that bad. There were some times when I get shot, but I guess I just wasn't prepared. But yeah, I mean, you won't die in this game. It's just if you die, that means you're just not doing good. And the story's really good. Very driven. The voice actors are very really good. Especially I like the voice actor for Dutch. Every time I hear his voice, I'm like, is that Jeff Bridges? And I did look at Wikipedia, and it's uh, not really a well known actor, unfortunately. He's a voice actor, but it's also, he made an appearance in Criminal Mind, the uh, showing channel 2 or in where I where I live, CBS, let's just say it, CBS. So yeah, I would give it right now a 10 out of 10, near perfect game, I know it should be a perfect game, no bugs run, I know there's a game breaking glitch, but fortunately I didn't really encounter it, so, but Rockstar's gonna fix it, so. Yeah, so again, 10 of a 10 of right now. Maybe I'll do a follow up on this and the long one succession game. And yes, like I said, apologies if this is not going to be, it wasn't part of my my first impression segment. It's just the game is so much storyline. I just didn't want to spoil it for anyone there. Yeah, so if you really want a good game and you want to and you think you need something that's worth $60. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2, man. Highly recommended for me. With that, I'll see you guys later.